failure was thinking that I was writing my journey, my story. But it was our story. Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to be recapping the movie After Everything. After Tessa departed, Hardin struggled to find inspiration and couldn't focus on his work. Christian and Trish, their son, suggested talking to publishers to extend the deadline, but Hardin refused any assistance and embarked on a self-destructive journey, eventually overcoming it after a long battle. Tessa's absence weighed heavily on him, leaving him restless and discontented. He recognized that he was responsible for his predicament and didn't know how to overcome writer's block or find inner peace. Returning to alcohol, he felt trapped in darkness with no way out. Then, in a significant turn of events in the aftermath, Hardin's mother informed him about Natalie, a girl he had met five years ago, starting anew in Lisbon. This revelation inspired Hardin to make a fresh start himself, prompting him to leave for Lisbon in the hope of finding direction and restoring his life. Hardin had a dark history of engaging in hurtful actions, acknowledging his toxic behavior and the pain he had caused others. In the past, Natalie had harbored a crush on Hardin, though she had never openly expressed her feelings to him until he made a romantic advance towards her. Their initial encounter took place while Hardin was in the company of his friends, James and Landon. During this meeting, James issued a challenge, offering to return a valuable watch that Hardin had given him which he had lost in a card game they played just before Natalie arrived. Hardin accepted the challenge, and he proceeded to become physically intimate with Natalie, even recording the entire encounter on his phone. Hardin initially intended to use the video to prove his victory to James, but things took a terrible turn when James shared the video with others, leading to its online dissemination. This devastating turn of events completely appended Natalie's life, she had never imagined that Hardin would betray her trust in such a way. The aftermath was catastrophic for Natalie, forcing her to leave town for a place where she could escape the notoriety. Furthermore, her scholarship was revoked, leaving her without the means to attend college. At the time, Hardin may have felt some remorse, but he didn't fully grasp the severity of his actions. It was only after Tess's departure that he realized the magnitude of his mistake and the importance of seeking forgiveness from Natalie. He packed his bags and traveled to Lisbon, mentally prepared to face the consequences of his actions, fully aware that he deserved the criticism and backlash from Natalie for what he had done. When Natalie unexpectedly encountered Hardin in her surroundings, her initial response was to request some time to process the situation. Despite her shock, Natalie didn't react rudely. Instead, she eventually approached Hardin and shared with him the challenges she had faced since the incident. Natalie was not only a person of remarkable beauty both in her character and appearance, but she also exemplified strength by taking control of her life, refusing to succumb to her circumstances, and embarking on a fresh start. In a heartwarming gesture, she invited Hardin to spend time with her friends, Madeline and Freya, and even revealed to them that he had been her first crush. Hardin was deeply moved and overwhelmed by this revelation, wondering how he had earned the affection of such an exceptional person. However, not everyone in Natalie's circle welcomed him warmly. As one of her friends, Sebastian harbored a strong dislike for Hardin and made no effort to conceal it. In the past, Natalie had confided in Sebastian about her experience, and upon seeing Hardin again, Sebastian recognized him as the person responsible for what had transpired. One day, while they were enjoying themselves at the beach, Sebastian lost his temper and engaged in a physical altercation with Hardin. This altercation resulted in serious injuries to Hardin, leading to his arrest by the police due to causing a disturbance in a public place. The situation escalated to the point where Christian had to travel to Lisbon to secure his son's release. Conversations with his father proved to be a turning point for Hardin, motivating him to reclaim his life. He realized that he could not squander his life any longer and needed to focus on writing his second book not to prove anything to others, but because he was a talented storyteller and writing brought him immense joy. After meeting Natalie in After Everything, Hardin found inspiration for his second book, centered around her story. However, before proceeding with its publication, he sought Natalie's permission. She read the book and genuinely enjoyed it, giving Hardin her blessing to publish it. Natalie had previously taken Hardin sailing and showed him a house perched on a cliff, a place she aspired to own one day, believing it would bring her constant happiness. 
Hardin's ultimate desire was to make Natalie happy, to be the reason for someone's joy for once. Without revealing his intentions to Natalie, he acquired that very house and arranged for the keys to be sent to her after he departed from Lisbon. Natalie had forgiven Hardin long ago, understanding that life was too short to hold on to grudges. Her remarkable forgiveness deeply touched Hardin and motivated him to rebuild his life, striving to become a better person moving forward. Landon and Nora were preparing to tie the knot, and Hardin decided to attend their wedding. He was aware that Tessa would also be present, marking their reunion after two years. Hardin couldn't contain his emotions and confessed to Tessa how regretful he was for sharing their story with the world without her consent. Tessa, tired of pretending to be strong, yearned to be with her soulmate. Following a heartfelt speech that Hardin delivered for Landon and Nora, he sought out Tessa in one of the rooms, leading to a beautiful and romantic moment between them. Hardin proposed to Tessa, and she readily accepted as she couldn't envision a future with anyone else. In the conclusion of After Everything, we witnessed that several years later, Hardin and Tessa have tied the knot, welcoming a beautiful daughter into their lives. Tessa is also expecting their second child. I thought I